Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Now that we have put up the frames for the walls of the house, we're now going to put up roof trusses, which is basically a framework of timbers, uh, which is designed to support a roof. And it transfers the weight of the roof to the walls. So it usually looks something like this. So know that, note that this is an isosceles triangle, which means this side is equal to this side and this angle is equal to this angle. Now the different sections of roof trusses, we call the timber section down the middle, uh, the king post. Okay, and then we call this section the rafter. And we also call this section the tie beam. Now, the angle that the rafter makes with the tie beam, we call this angle the pitch angle. And we write the ratio of the king post to the tie beam as the we call that the pitch ratio okay so let's use let's talk about some of the maths involved find the pitch angle uh, in this roof truss so theta um, to find theta we need to use a bit of trigonometry so we notice that um, since the king post is at right angles to the tie beam, this is over here a right angle triangle. So if theta is over here, then this side would be the opposite, and this side would be the adjacent. So then we have tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. And then we have tangent theta equals 3 over 15 so theta equals inverse tan bracket 3 over 15 and the answer is so set your calculator on degrees and type in inverse tan so inverse tan brackets 3 over 15 oops 3 over 15 press equals and you have 11.31 degrees so that is the pitch angle written to round it to two decimal places okay we could also give you the pitch angle and ask you to find the other sides Okay, so here's an interesting one. Express the pitch ratio of this roof truss. So, um, how do you do it? Well, this is a right angle triangle over here. So let's do sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. And we have x is the opposite. 15 is the hypotenuse, y is the adjacent. So then we have sine 20 equals x over 15. Uh, rearranging that, so putting x as the subject, x equals sine 20 times 15. Put that into the calculator. Sine 15. Uh, sorry, sine 20 times 15. And the answer is 5.13 meters. Okay, so let's do the next one. We have the uh, adjacent to calculate. So let's do cosine theta equals A over H. 
cosine theta cosine 20 equals y over 15 so y equals cos 20 times 15 and let's put that into the calculator so cos 20 times 15 and the answer is 14.1 uh, rounded to 2 dp uh, meters 14.1 meters okay so we have the opposite and the adjacent the x and the y now if you guys remember how do we write the ratio of the how do we write the pitch ratio it's the ratio of the king post to the tie beam so it's this number here x to y that's called the pitch ratio so pitch ratio is written as the length of the king post which is 5.13 to the length of the tie beam which is 14.1 now that's not the simplest form we want the ratio to say 1 to something so in order to figure out this number, what we do is we find out um, how do we get 14.1 from 5.13. So basically, I'm going to put into the calculator 14.1, so the number on the right, divided by the number on the left, 5.13, and see what that answer is. divided by 5.13 and the answer is 14.1 divided by 5.13 and the answer is 2.7485 so to go from this number to this number you have to multiply by 2. Point, what was it 7.4853 So we're going to repeat the same thing here because these two are uh, identical ratios so we can multiply by the same thing or I should say equivalent ratios. So you multiply by the same thing so it's going to be 2.74853 and these two ratios are the same so this is more simplified. The pitch ratio, the answer is 1 to 2.74853. Okay, well, that's it for uh, roofs, roof trusses. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.